Some students and parents very concerned, shaken up. 13 News reporter Andy Bernhardt talked to them today and heard their concerns. When parents hear their child's school is on lockdown, countless thoughts go through their minds. Terrified. I don't know how I'm supposed to send my kids to school. They have to go to school so that they can go to college and have a good life, but yet here it is. If I send them to school, I risk this. Angie Stowers was one of the parents that rushed to Huntington High School Tuesday morning when the school was placed on a temporary lockdown. So did Heather James. She and many parents heard from their children before she heard from school administrators. They need to do a better job of informing parents when something like this is going on because whenever we get our information from scared kids, um, we don't know how to comfort them. We don't know how to keep them from panicking. Cabell County School spokesperson Jed Flowers says they work as quickly as they can to get the information to parents, but it takes time to assess the situation first. We do have a messaging system, but the problem with messaging system is you have to have information. And a lot of the information that students were sharing in those initial moments was inaccurate. They were just sharing rumors and that sort of thing. So it takes us a little bit of time. Striking a balance to get the right information out as quickly as possible. Possible. I mean, I shouldn't even have to deal with this. They shouldn't have to go through this going to school. In moments that feel like an eternity to parents, wanting to make sure their students are safe. In Huntington, Andy Bernhardt, 13 News.